In this walkthrough, I'd like to cover the process of completing a W-2 and 1099 through the yearly performance application. So once you've logged in, you'll come to your filing home and you'll select the Start New Forms button. Start Form will allow you to manually key in information and then Import Data will allow you to import Excel or CSV files into yearly performance. Um, we will not cover this today in the demo because we do have another uh, more extensive walkthrough on our Greatland Corporation YouTube page, so please reference that for more assistance on importing. So we'll cover the manual keying in of information. So once you click on Start Form, you'll select from the forms list the 1099 miscellaneous or whichever form you need to complete. On the form image, one thing that uh, is helpful if you've used us in the past is the drop-down where you can select a pair that uh, you have used in the past, and that will autofill all of the name, address, phone number, and EIN information that you had last year. And then the same feature is in our recipient section where you could select from a list of recipients for that pair and do the same thing where it will autofill the information in. So another feature that we have is the ability to save a form in an incomplete state. So let's say you have the vendor's name and address information, but you don't know what uh, the TIN information is. So you could just save your progress and, um, and then come back to it for a later time once you're able to get the TIN information. Now you can't file it until you have the TIN but you can at least save your progress so you can uh, get some efficiency later. And then you complete the information uh, and hit Save. Now we do run it against uh, validations to make sure that the IRS will accept it and any errors will be outlined in red and have that yellow triangle to help uh, you know when you have to fix something. So uh, one other feature we have in the yearly performance software is the ability to file to the state agencies. And uh, this is an automated process. We call it direct state filing. And it's a process in which you can even complete the state reconciliation form. And, uh, and that way, we'll upload that to the state agencies and complete your state obligations. So uh, you would complete the state information on the 1099 miss in box 17. And then you would hit Save. Um, and then when you go to your filing home again, it will uh, be located in the Forms and Progress section. So if you clicked on that, and you'll find the data that uh, we just entered. And it's the form right here, and it's not ready because we didn't have that TIN. And so you can edit this form or delete the form if you'd like. So we're going to edit it and, um, and enter the TIN, a fake TIN, into this section and hit Save. And so now, if we go back to the Forms and Progress section, uh, you will see that the status has changed to ready. And then now we see this e-file readiness section has lit up or become active. And so on the federal side, you're ready to go. Uh, from the state side, you have to complete the recon. And so the recon, uh, you'll see it say not ready until you look at the recon and complete any information in there. Again, if you, um, we recommend you using Internet Explorer or the new Edge browser uh, to ensure that this, uh, this will work. Um, and then you review the recon, fill out any information that is appropriate to, your, to that particular payer, you hit Next, and now you'll see that the Connecticut and the Federal are ready to go. And one last validation step or review step is here for step three. And you can select from three different options. Previewing forms will create PDFs, and that way you can review them before you file them for accuracy. A summary report is a PDF report that's essentially the same as a 1096 or a W3 that summarizes all the data for this particular payer. And then a detail report is an export of a CSV file, and it's all of the data that uh, pertains to this particular payer. And then finally, uh, you're ready to file. So you would click on the File Forms button, and we go through this CART process where uh, you can still edit the data if you'd like or continue through the steps of completing the forms. 
And so once you've entered in your payment information, um, you'll come to a summary page. And from here, uh, you'll just hit confirm and submit, or you can con continue to edit your card or your payment information, and then you would submit your, your data at that point. So a few things that you can do after you filed is go to the form filing history. And from here, there's quite a few different activities that you can do. Uh, you will find the batch that you submitted for that particular payer, and we do save up to three years' worth of data, so the current tax year plus two before that. Um, and then the different things that you can do in here is check the status of your returns. So you could look for a uh, filing submitted status or a filing rejected status or a filing accepted status or mailed forms were mailed to your recipients. So that's what the uh, clock icon will do. The print icon will allow you to print PDFs of the form. So you could e either save the PDF uh, for your records or even print it in your office. The email icon will allow you to email a form to a recipient. So say some recipient claims that they never received the form, you could go in here, ask them for the recipient's email address and add that to it, and then they'll get an email and it will show them how to retrieve their, their form electronically. Uh, if you wanted to have Greatland do another print and mail, you could hit the plus symbol, or if you need to make a correction and file a correction on the 1099, you could hit the edit button. So quite a few different activities that you can do in the form filing process or form filing history section. And then the final thing that I wanted to reference would be the TIN matching. Uh, TIN matching is a program that the IRS set up that allows you to check the recipient name and TIN combination against the IRS database. And essentially, it's a two-step process where you would go in, select the pair that you would like to do the TIN matching on, and hit Submit. Now, this is a feature that's included at no additional charge when you're a yearly performance customer. And so it's a nice feature to mitigate the B-notice process which causes a lot of administration and time and effort. And so um, also it can be used as a remediation tactic uh, if you were to incur any penalties. So those are the basic uh, steps of filing your W-2s and 1099s with the IRS. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, visit the support section uh, on, on the yearly site and, uh, or contact your account representative for more assistance. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day.